against the walls. Do we have Are these Pikmin? creatures Pikmin too? Hmm, give me a funny look. Hey everybody, this is Jeff here with N Video Games, back for another episode of Feature Friday. This week we're going to be doing a episode on Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge, as you can see from the logo on the screen. I haven't played it yet, it's a free download on the Wii U eShop and 3DS eShop, and this of course is the Wii U version of the game. And it uh, just came out last week, like, like I said I haven't played it yet, so we're going to check it out together for the first time. So I've got it selected here on my gamepad, and we're gonna get it started. Got some amiibo standing by, ready to go. I'm only gonna do a few of them. So let's check it out and see how it goes. As you can see, I haven't even launched the game at all. It was doing the repairing thing. So here's the title screen, load up screen, whatever you wanna call it. Bowser Jr., Bowser, Yoshi, Peach, Mario, Donkey Kong, Toad, Luigi, Rosalina, and Diddy Kong. This game requires Amiibo to play, it says. Which I do have several Amiibo. As if you saw my gaming setup video, you know I have, you know, or at least two dozen, maybe, maybe three dozen. So here is the tile screen itself. Donkey Kong theme, I think it is. Of course, this is part of the Mario vs. Donkey Kong series. I'm trying to get my stylus here out here. Collect all the coins and reach the door quickly to earn a gold trophy. Welcome to Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge. In this game, you can use the Amiibo shown above to play as powered up mini toys. If we don't have any of these Amiibo, that's okay. You can use any other Amiibo to play as mini spec. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. So, it only has uh, characters specifically for certain Amiibo, according to the game. So, these ones you see on the screen here, Little Mac, uh, Pit, Samus, Link, We Fit Trainer, all those don't have in-game representation, so you would play as Mini Spec, which is a robot-looking character there you see in the blue circle. Shows uh, some gameplay of Mario there. So it's touching Amiibo to the gamepad, or to the uh, NOC point on the gamepad. Okay. Well, I have Mario, so we'll try him first. There's Mario. Activated. Trying to have a wall jump. Okay, so we have a map screen here. World map. So I can move around with the control stick or control pad. It says tap to start on the game bed, or I can hit A, I assume. Yep. Objects like red girders use up resources when they are placed. Gain resources back by picking objects back up. Instruct the environment to guide the mini toy to the door. Create paths for your mini toy by placing girders. Make sure you have enough collected. Make sure you're collected enough to give your mini toy enough ground. So you can see the layout on the screen you guys see, and it's on my gamepad as well. It shows me the same thing basically. Although it's full screen on the gamepad on the TV, it's a uh, windowed mode, kind of sort of gives you a HUD as well, which is also shown on the uh, gamepad. So I tap on one of the girders and then I to collect it and then I slide it across. And I can tap Mario to start him. And that starts the timer as well. Apparently he'll auto wall jump. That's interesting. Wahoo! 
just keeps going back and forth. This makes no sense. Ah, uh, okay, there we go. I get it. You can't do that, okay. This is just different. as well. Level clear. 9,200 points. I have 198 seconds left for a total score of 13,160 points. On large levels, use the left stick or right stick to look around. You can use the right stick to look around the map. See, I'm scrolling it now. The right stick on the gamepad. So look at all these levels we got, or worlds, I guess technically. We got one based on Donkey Kong, one based on I don't know, is that Kirby maybe? I don't know. Don't know what the stars are. Maybe it's more Donkey Kong. Not sure. Diddy Kong maybe. And one for Yoshi, one for Mario, one for Peach, one for Toad, one for Luigi, one for Bowser Jr., one for Bowser. One for uh, Rosalina, I'm guessing. That's probably what that is. I think it's probably Diddy Kong because I think it said he was supported for uh, the game. For an in game representation. So we'll try level 2 here. You can swap many toys while playing a level or from the level map by touching an amiibo to the NFC spot on the Wii U gamepad. Amiibo doors can be used all. Only, can only be used by specific mini toys. Exit through them to unlock special character specific levels. Okay, I'm gonna grab Donkey Kong because I do have him and you can see on the screen he has a door. I'm Rosalina, I don't have, so if someone shows up for her, then I'm just not gonna be able to do that. Don't have her yet. Got my Donkey Kong amiibo. So there's Mario in the middle of the screen there, you can see him. So I've got to go to the Donkey Kong door and the exit door, it looks like. I know when you go die in the wind, but uh -huh. uh, man, there's no enough girders left. So just subtract some based on the length of the girder you use. that one, they can't go up the other one, so it makes perfect sense. the uh, box there. Oh, it's 
I killed him. <laughs> Whoops. That was a mistake. I'm gonna turn my other light on. It's a little dark in here. Alright, let's try this again. Turn my other light on. I don't know how I'm supposed to break these, this, uh, these gray blocks by the exit. And die again. Whoops. This makes no sense. Okay, so different amiibo have different abilities. Okay. Would you like to try the tutorial level for this mini toy? Yes, I would. You can see a demonstration of each mini toy's special power from the amiibo swap screen. Here's the tutorial for Donkey Kong. I'm going to start it there. It goes up the ramp there, no problem. the ball a little too soon. Collect the Nemo tokens using the main toy's power to unlock levels in the Star World. Collect a gold Amiibo token to earn five Amiibo tokens. So gold one's worth five regular. Alright, here's this level dunk going on. Oh crap, I'm gonna get up. Then I'm gonna turn around. 
The Zong Kong is off the ramp here, that I put down. That's his special ability. Got the uh, special exit there. All well clear. 272 seconds left. 6740 points. Step in May to what you're doing brief burst to speed. Barrel Blast Jungle. This is the uh, world I was talking about up here. North of where you see Donkey Kong on the map. Those kind of separate levels as well. Go next to the vertical, vertical pipe, walk in the same direction you were when you entered. Look at that. Blast barrels. Amiibo tokens are special collectibles that many toys must use their powers to reach. Collect Amiibo tokens to unlock secret levels in the Star World. Okay, so these ones that have the little gray uh, circle on them, gray and black circle, I have to tap those to activate them. The other ones I think are automatic. Yep. Thought so. Oh no, my dog gone. So, bounce off walls, that's good to know. Crap! Fire too soon. Alright, okay. I'm coming. Quite the level. That's very easy. We got everything on that level. Hey, we got our first gold trophy too. Look at that. Nice. And we got a gold amiibo token and a regular amiibo token. Six total tokens. 16,240 points. Pretty good. Click all the coins and reach the door quickly to earn a gold trophy. So I'm going to uh, try a different amiibo here and see what happens. I've done Mario and Donkey Kong, I'm going to try Mega Man. Mega Man puts in the robot. This doesn't have a character specific for him. Others like regulars use up resources when they're placed, game which is back by picking the object back up. Becky, I think I said his name is. Something like that. It's a robot there. So he can go up inclines as well. Mario can't, but Specky and Donkey Kong can. There you go. That's it for that level. Yeah. So 
That was a tutorial level showing you how to play this that particular toy. Got a gold trophy for that one, 14,480 points. I'm already told us to use the left right stick to move around. So at the bottom of the screen there, it will tell you the current amiibo you have uh, equipped, I guess for lack of a better term, as well. This is question mark you. As this will give you tips. Collect all the coins and reach something, and then you can do credits as well. You can either auto scroll through them, or you can uh, hit the arrows as well on the gamepad to scroll through them. Those are like the loading screen tips that it shows you. Informational screens. You can hit the uh, Amiibo thing there, the Amiibo logo at the bottom of the screen on the gamepad. It's uh, where the 3% and the flag is on the TV screen. That's where the Amiibo logo is on my screen on the gamepad. And it will allow you to switch your currently selected character. Uh, get a, uh, a couple others here. It's the, it's the ones I grabbed don't have specific pages for them. So you can see the different ones that they are. Grab the uh, Luigi Yoshi piece here. And we'll do a, a stage of Specky here. Oh, it says this level can only be played in the mini Donkey Kong. So the ones that are in the background there, like where I am now, it says DK. I can only play those with Donkey Kong. So like this one can only be with Yoshi. That's only with Mario. Only with Peach. Only with Toad. Only with Luigi. Only with uh, Bowser Jr. Only with Bowser. Only with Rosalina. So this one back here I can't even do because I don't have Rosalina. So that's near the end of the game, apparently. So it'll be a while before I get over there. But, we try this level with Specky. I get the Mega Man, the Specky, whatever you want to call him. This is the one that I kept dying on with Mario, because I um, was not uh, doing it correctly. So I don't have to worry about the, uh, the uh, character exit there, I'm just trying to get to the regular one. Specky, go! Get them coins. That bonus for getting all the coins, too. Simple as that. A lot easier when you have a character that can go up the ramps correctly. <laughs> Double clear. 246 seconds remaining. For a total of 13,520 points. New record. Gold trophy. Switch amiibo here. So you progress through the the grass levels here at the bottom. You'll be able to skip the special worlds, as you can see. You can just go right past them. Now, I don't have to do that. I can go back and do the Donkey Kong ones, but I'm gonna go do this next one here. I'm gonna switch to Peach here. Let's see if he'll let me do her. She has a floating jump, as you would expect. She's been known for her floating mechanic ever since Mario 2, so I did a tutorial level for her. Here's her tutorial level. Oh dear. <laughs> I walked her 
Spikes into spikes. That would've been good. Okay, so she'll jump over the gaps, apparently. Yeah, she just holds right over. Oh man, that was close. That was really close. on the uh, uptake here to get all those girders switched. There we go. Got everything. Nice. Good job, Peach. Two hundred fifty seven seconds remaining. 14,340 points. Not a record. Mega Man still holds a record. But we did get a gold trophy. We'll do an actual level as Peach now. Level 11. Not sure what the wall icons on the screen there mean. It may mean that it requires those characters to get the tokens. That's probably what it means. So we got like giant Donkey Kong toys for some reason. Not sure what that means. Guess we'll find out. Okay. He'll throw the, your toy up there in the air, basically. Interesting. Oh wow, there's additional level over there you gotta scroll. Requires Donkey or not Donkey Diddy Kong to get down to that character exit there. So we got everything we get here. We need Toad to Rosalina to get those tokens, which we don't. I have Toad, but he's uh, not with me right now. I'm in somewhere else, so. I don't have Rosalina, so I can't do that. I can't do that one. You can go through the platforms as well. With the Donkey Kong thrower there that was throwing me up. Where's that one? Pretty something. Now that I understand what I'm doing. 227 seconds remaining, 14,440 points. Two record gold trophy. This is pretty fun. I'm guessing the tokens unlock things. Not, or, I think it said for star levels or something like that. So in this level it has a picture of Luigi and Bowser Jr. So to uh, get those tokens I'll have to have those characters, those amiibo figures. I do have Luigi, I don't have Bowser Jr. so I wouldn't be able to get that one. So I'm going to go back here and uh, do do these other Donkey Kong levels. Actually, let's uh, let's go and do this one with uh, Luigi since we can we have him. We can get his token. His ability is high jump, which you would expect, like in Mario 2. We're going to do the tutor tutorial, of course. Apparently there would be up things other than red girders, eventually. Oh, yeah. There goes Luigi. for the gray girder. Yes we can, okay. Can 
some walk up inclines as well. That's good to know. Put a girder over the spikes there so he doesn't fall to his death. Got all the coins and we're at the exit. Alright. Level clear. 268 seconds remaining. Goal score 14,560 points for a new record. And a gold trip. We're going to do level 4 proper here now with Luigi. So there's ones that have multiple tokens that require multiple characters. You obviously would have to do it more than once. We got something new here. We don't have red girders. We have these yellow uh, bumper looking things. For lack of a better description. I'm not sure what that's about. It says tap to pick up. Okay. Tap to place it says. Okay. I think it's like a springboard kind of thing. I think that's what the deal is. That's my guess. Yep, okay. So the uh, secret door, or character door, or whatever you want to call it here, is for Yoshi. So I do have... Oh, just died again. I'm paying attention. I think you have infinite lives, so it's not that big a deal if I die, but... It's so annoying. And we're going to retry this level of Yoshi Heroes too, so we get the uh, character door, character exit. 256 seconds remaining for 14,420 points. New record and a gold trophy. And we got the Amiibo token. Switch to Yoshi now and redo this level. So I can get unlock the Yoshi levels. Eat enemies is Yoshi's ability, as you would expect. Hmm. Abilities for characters make sense. It means what you would expect for them, as I keep saying. <laughs> it's the typical thing in the airborne. So here's Yoshi's tutorial level. I guess he eats them automatically, I don't know. Yep, automatically. He'll jump to these ledges here automatically as well. up there and gets the shot guy. We got uh, three more coins and two prime points to eat. There we go. That's Yoshi's tutorial level there. Pretty simple. Two hundred fifty-two seconds remaining. Fourteen thousand two hundred forty points and a voucher.
right, so unlock the Yoshi levels. Oh wait, no we don't. We haven't done that yet. I'm sorry. My fault. We're, we're going to do that momentarily here. That's what we're trying to do now. Trying to get all the coins there, what I'm trying to do. So I gotta take all these springboards so I'll fall in the gap. And go in the door. There we go, we got the Yoshi door. Character door. Oh, we're clear. 260 seconds remaining. 14,500 points. New record, and more trophy. We're gonna do one of the Yoshi levels here in the uh, in this episode it's called Egg Launch Land. Here's the name for Yoshi's World. And I'm guessing by the looks of those eggs in the screen, that's probably what they do. Okay, so the screen you guys see. It has a zoomed out view of the full level, and I see a zoomed in view of only part of the level. Not sure how this is going to work, so we'll just try it and see. Okay, so he hops in the egg automatically, and I tap it to fire, and it shows me the, the path that the egg will take. It bounces off the walls like it does in your games. Well, the yellow pipe and same thing. Uh, okay, I got girders I need to put out. There we go. And the red pipe now. Comes up this way. I want some bounce out that way. Okay, that's fine. You can go back in the red pipe. Oh, this way. Hmm. How do I make him go down there to that piranha plant? I wonder. It doesn't give you a time limit on launching the egg. It looks like you can stay in there as long as you want, which is nice. Well, as you plan out your course. There we go. Clear that level. Pretty easy. Level clear. 179 seconds remaining. Or 14,180 points. No gold trophy. But I did get both the amiibo tokens. I have 13 total amiibo tokens. There's a pink block thing we get in later levels, apparently, too, that we can pick up in place. Alright, well, that's going to conclude this episode of Feature Friday. Just a quick look at Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge. Obviously, it does require Amiibo figures to play, so if you don't have any, you're going to have to get some if you want to play it. And you can get some of the Amiibo now, even brand new, you can get them for less than the original retail. I think uh, Amazon was selling Chibi Robo a while back, which is one of their exclusives for 
like seven or eight bucks, which the suggested retail was thirteen dollars, of course. So, and they've had the other ones on sale as well. And I know other retailers have done so as well. I think Target and Walmart had some on sale, maybe a few others. And of course, you can buy them used as well from uh, different retailers, like GameStop, for example, sells them used. And I'm sure there's other, you know, places that do use video games for you sell them used as well. So that's Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge. It's pretty cool. Um, it's free to download on the Wii U eShop or the 3DS eShop. Of course, on 3DS, if you want to use the Amiibo, you have to either have a new 3DS or you have to have the 3DS uh, NOC Reader Writer accessory, which I don't have that, and I don't have a new 3DS either, so I wouldn't be able to do it on my 3DS. So that's why I did the Wii U version. Plus, I have, a, you know, I mentioned I don't have a capture card for my 3DS. I have to record it with my cell phone, so the quality is not very good. I do have my Elgato for my uh, Wii U capture, so that works a lot better. But anyways, that's going to c conclude this episode of Feature Friday. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. You can follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash nvideogaming or on Twitter at twitter.com slash nvideogames. And you can check out our official website at nvideogames.com for Nintendo news, screenshots, trailers, and lots more good stuff like that. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button here on YouTube to subscribe to our channel for more Nintendo videos like Feature Friday. And tomorrow we're going to be doing the live stream of the Incast, our weekly live Nintendo podcast. And Monday we'll be doing another episode of Multiplatform Mondays. Then Tuesday we'll probably be doing another episode of Top 5 Tuesdays. And Wednesday, of course, we have either future in or uh, first 15 and Thursday we'll be doing you know another episode of portable playthroughs for Hyrule Warriors Legends we're trying to play through that and Friday of next week we'll have another episode of Feature Friday and that's our schedule for the coming week and of course you know we have our live streams on Twitch as well where we do Let's Plays on there Tuesdays Thursdays Saturdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern time I believe Saturday, tomorrow night, I'm going to be doing Pikmin 3, if I remember correctly. Let me just double check my schedule right quick. Yep, tomorrow night is Pikmin 3, then Sunday night is going to be Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link on the NES. So you can tune in for those. So again, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and game on. <laughs>